Hi, I'm Angie Metters, and I'm going to talk to you today about things that I think are important to um, know and have your horse doing before you start them on the barrel pattern. Um, I'm a firm believer in having a horse broke correctly. Um, with that being said, I've ridden horses that were not broke, <laughs> uh, as good as they could have been, and it, it ends up causing problems down the road. Um, also, the horses that I ride, I, you know, we try to break them to where later on in life, if you, you know, in their career, if the, you have a problem, then you can actually correct it. Um, there are lots of things that go into this, but even so much as loping a circle correctly is a very important thing to me that a horse has to do. Um, I see a lot of horses that want to lope really flat and incorrect, and that will cause a problem when you get down to where you're actually going around the barrels. Um, I like to lope with my horse collected and in my hands, and what I mean by that is I want my horse's head I want control of his head, his shoulders, and his butt. Um, I like them to, this horse is loping around co collected is what I would say. And it is a feel, but I will try to show you that what it's like for him not to be collected, just to lope flat. And it's just kind of out of control and his shoulders are in and this is just a lot of people I see a lot of girls loping circles like this and it's you want to have your horse where you can move them wherever you need to and lope with their body collected you want them when you say whoa, whoa you can stop them it's nice to have one that backs up um, it's nice to have one that steps around on their front end correctly. And what I mean by that is when I ask this horse to back off the bit, I, you know, he, I give him a little nudge with my heels and give him a little tug. And he, I also like him to move around his shoulders. Um, pick his shoulder up. This is a very important exercise for me is to walk, be able to walk a straight line and keep this horse's shoulders, his butt on the line and his, see just a little bit of his nose to where I have control of that shoulder and face. I do a lot of exercises like that and where that comes in on the bar barrel pattern is when you're running across to the barrel, you have control of your horse. If you need him to move over a little bit, you've got control. You can move the shoulder, you can move them in that direction, but they're still moving forward. I think that's probably one of my biggest exercises on a horse is to have them moving on a straight line and always moving forward. Another thing I'd like to add is my definition of broke is you know, being broke in the face, being broke in the shoulders, having all of the body parts to where you can move them and, and move your horse around and make him do certain exercises. You know, I have a lot of people come to me and, oh, my horse is so broke. And I don't mean broke by, you know, they think they're broke because they're not spooking from the sign on the fence or the piece of paper growing across the road, but it's broke in the body and broke in his mouth and having a good feel. Um, I think that will help you tremendously if you know what that is and um, you know it's hard to know what a horse feels like broke that is broke until you actually ride one that's broke. For many years I thought oh my horses were broke but um, you know as the years go by I've realized that um, you know they weren't really broke as well as I thought and so it's a good idea to get with someone that you know, has a good reputation that knows what a broke horse is and, and get the feel so you know what you can duplicate on your horse before you start them on the barrels.